Hi, I'm with the Department of the Environment. And today we're going to talk about how to identify cleaning and disinfecting products that are safer for your family's health and just as effective. We will also share simple actions you can do today to safely use whatever cleaning and disinfecting products you buy to improve your indoor air quality and protect the health of your home and your family. We all deserve to live in healthy homes and we all deserve to have healthy families. Especially in this time of COVID-19, from vacuuming to dusting and wiping to sanitizing, cleaning is a big part of our lives. Everywhere we live eventually gets dirty and needs some upkeep. It's unavoidable. Some of us find it therapeutic while others dread it. But it's a big part of our lives and frankly, it needs to be done in order to lead a healthy lifestyle. As we all strive to protect our families from COVID-19, we are cleaning and disinfecting our homes more than ever. But many cleaners and disinfectants, such as chlorine bleach, can cause asthma attacks in people who already have asthma, and they can actually cause new cases of asthma in people who didn't have it before. Why does that matter? In 2012, over 80,000 children and adults in San Francisco suffered from asthma and over 32,000 children and adolescents were hospitalized at least once due to asthma. There are many reasons for high rates of asthma. Using cleaning products that contain bleach and ammonia is one asthma trigger we can control. And the CDC lists moderate to severe asthma as a risk factor for COVID-19. As part of our Healthy Homes program, we want to let folks know that there are safer, effective products to clean and disinfect their homes. We don't want to hurt ourselves in the process of protecting ourselves. If you only remember one thing from our presentation today, I hope it will be this. You aren't disinfecting if you don't clean first. First, we're going to talk about cleaners and then we're going to talk about disinfectants. Before the pandemic, I used to think that cleaning and disinfecting were pretty much the same thing. Not true. A cleaner is a product that removes the dirt. Disinfectants don't work on dirty surfaces. Bacteria, fungi, and viruses cling to dirt particles, so dirt must first be removed to reduce COVID-19 transmission. Just walking into a typical cleaning product aisle, you'll notice there are hundreds of different products, some with only slightly different scents and colors. When we are doubling our efforts to stay safe and keep our families healthy, as we are now, it's important to choose the right cleaning products. But how do you know what cleaning products are healthy and safe for your family? Choose cleaning products with these certifications on the label. They are just as effective as other cleaning products, but safer for you and your family's health. Every ingredient and products with these labels have been identified and reviewed by scientists, not just the active ingredient. Cleaning products, although they are effective at removing microorganisms, are not regulated by the US EPA. Oftentimes, you will see words like natural or green to make you think that they are healthier. There is usually no evidence to back up these claims. If you are looking to buy safer cleaning products, look for any of these certifications on the label. The most common certification for household products is the safer choice label on the left. You can also make your own safer cleaning products to keep your home clean and healthy. Since you're cleaning first before disinfecting, why not save some money and reduce your family's exposure to enlisted toxic ingredients by making your own cleaners? For example, here's a lemon. Did you know that natural lemon juice gives your home a fresh smell without man-made chemicals? It also cuts grease. Baking soda can serve as a sink cleaner, a deodorizer, and with a brush and some elbow grease, it can also remove soap scum. Simple soap and water are our best friends for fighting germs. Remember, when you remove the dirt, you remove the germs that stick to dirt. 
So in many cases, you don't need bleach or other expensive disinfectants in your home. Whenever you can, buy unscented dish soap instead of scented soap. The fragrance in many soaps can cause or worsen asthma. Use a microfiber cloth when dusting, mopping, or wiping counters. These cloths are reusable and are dust and dirt magnets. They cut down the need for chemicals when cleaning. For example, instead of using a window cleaner, you can simply wipe a mirror or window with water in a microfiber cloth. Works great. We've put together some great ideas for you to make your own safer cleaners as part of our Healthy Homes program. You can find them on our website in English, Spanish, and Chinese. We all want to do whatever we can to protect ourselves and our family from COVID-19. As a reminder, cleaning is the first step to disinfecting. If you are not cleaning first, you are not disinfecting. Now we're going to talk about disinfectants. A disinfectant is a chemical that kills things. Because disinfectants are designed to kill things, the EPA requires them to be tested and registered. The process ensures that we know each product is effective and successful at killing the thing that it's supposed to. Disinfectants are tested and registered to kill specific viruses and bacteria. EPA then establishes a list of all the disinfectants that are proven to kill each virus. The lists are titled by the letters of the alphabet. If you want to kill the COVID-19 virus, then you need a disinfectant on the EPA's N list. EPA's focus on disinfectant products is about effectiveness, but many disinfecting products contain bleach or ammonia and can cause or worsen asthma. Avoid using products that contain bleach, ammonia, hypochlorite, or strong fragrances. In San Francisco, we want our products to be both effective and safe for our families and ourselves. So how do we find safer disinfectants? SF Approved is a website you can use to find safer disinfectants. We all know that it can be hard to find the product we want these days with all the pandemic supply chain disruptions. But whatever cleaning or disinfecting product you use, there are simple actions you can take today to reduce your exposure to toxic chemicals and make your home safer and healthy for your family. The number one simple thing you can do is open doors and windows to increase ventilation while cleaning and disinfecting. You can also turn on a fan. Cover or remove food from the immediate area where you are cleaning or disinfecting. When you disinfect, spend your time on frequently touched surfaces such as telephones, door and cabinet handles, railings, and other devices and surfaces used by more than one person in your household. Don't just spray and wipe disinfectants. Disinfectants take time to work. Clean dirty surfaces first, then spray disinfectant on a sponge or cloth to apply. Let the surface being disinfected remain wet for 10 minutes, then wipe away the residue. Don't just spray products directly on the surface. If you can, spray the product into cloth, then apply it. When you spray a product, it puts the chemicals into the air in a form that is easy to breathe in and can cause harm to your lungs. Maybe you've had this experience yourself, trying to clean the tiles in your bathroom with a tile cleaning type product, and you start getting choked up from the fumes. That's respiratory irritation, which can increase the severity of COVID-19 illness. Spraying cleaning or disinfecting products into the air to kill viruses like COVID-19 does not work. All it does is put toxic chemicals into your lungs. Whenever you can, look for cleaning and disinfecting products that are packaged in a trigger spray bottle and marked fragrance free. Tiny particles of an aerosol spray get deep within the lungs and many fragrances can cause an asthma attack. Disinfectants and cleaning products, even safer products, 
can be dangerous if misused. It is important to understand and follow product instructions on the label closely. And finally, never mix different cleaning and disinfecting products, even safer products together. The chemical ingredients don't always play well together and some, for example, ammonia and bleach can cause a poisonous gas called chlorine that can damage your lungs. Our home is a place where we can control what we do to make ourselves healthier. Did you know that even before COVID-19, the average person spent 90% of their times indoors? Or that concentrations of some pollutants indoors can be two to five times higher than the typical outdoor concentrations? We've talked a lot about how cleaning and disinfecting products can impact our lungs, but there are indoor air pollutants that can affect your family's respiratory health. This is especially important during the COVID-19 pandemic. Let's review some common sources of indoor air pollution. Dust and dust mites can cause allergic reactions and asthma. In a damp climate like San Francisco, mold can become a big problem. Some molds can be very dangerous and can cause serious health problems if not removed right away. Roaches, ants, and rodents are pests are not only annoying, their droppings in the body parts of dead pests become part of the dust we breathe and can cause respiratory problems. We have already talked about aerosol cleaning and disinfecting products. When we use other aerosol products, such as hairsprays and oven cleaners, these aerosols create a fine mist of toxic chemicals that directly pollute our indoor air. The sprayed chemicals go straight into our lungs when we breathe them in. Products that we use to make our home smell nicer often contain combinations of numerous harsh chemicals to produce a pleasant smell. If you see the word fragrance, or if there are health warnings like caution on a product label, then chances are the product contains chemicals that are not healthy for you. Without proper ventilation, the fumes from cooking on your stove are another source of indoor air pollution. We don't have time today to go into all the simple actions you can start doing that can make a big difference in improving your home's indoor air quality and protecting your health and the health of your family. But you can check out our Healthy Homes presentation on YouTube in Spanish, English, or Chinese to learn more about how to address indoor air quality issues. The takeaways of this message is, clean first, disinfect only touch points, not everything, choose safer disinfectants, follow directions on product label for dilutions and time to leave on surfaces, choose cleaners that have the safer choice or green seal logo on their label, Try to avoid household cleaning products with bleach, hypochlorite, or ammonia, and avoid aerosol and products with fragrance. Now that you've learned about simple actions you can take to keep your home clean and healthy, we need your help. Share what you learned with other people in your neighborhood. During the COVID-19 pandemic and after, our health is our most valuable asset because we all deserve to live in healthy homes and we all deserve to have healthy families. Thank you.